Um, hi everybody, uh, my name is Kat O'Driscoll, I'm the National Student Engagement Coordinator. Uh, disclaimer, I'm not a current student. Um, I did speak to many students though before we came here today um, and some students were very eager to get involved and engage. But right now they're presenting to the Dáil Committee on Education about how the sector should be funded. So they had a little bit of, uh, of a priority there. Um, but I also say some students because many people who I spoke, about, spoke to heard Learning Analytics Symposium and ran a mile uh, because it sounded really complicated and intimidating and things like that. So jargon busting does need to be on the agenda. Um, I run the National Student Engagement Programme, uh, which is a pilot stage at the moment between five uh, institutions, Letterkenny, NUIG, CIT, WIT and NCI. We are funded by the HEA and QQI, um, and USI is also involved in the collaboration. Um, the first stage of the pilot is about to be completed. The fir first work stream is completing today, which is the student training uh, programme. So we've our last student training today in um, NCI, and the other part of um, the pilot is institutional analysis sessions, which will finish in March. Um, so early in the second semester, keep an eye out because we will be putting a call out um, for the next stage of the rollout. Um, but lots more about that at the QQI Enhancement Conference next Thursday. Um, things that we looked at um, in the opportunity side about learning analytics was that this might be a very interesting and exciting area um, for partnership. Um, students are coming with great experience of being tracked, look at their social media, the amount of data that they gather. Um, a lot of students have a very different experience um, to what some of the staff in higher education have coming through. Um, so things that they find very easy and adaptable are things that uh, we should be talking to directly to them about. Um, lots of people spoke about the holistic supports available for um, student learning experience. Um, and something that does need to come into that is that students are all very different. Uh, and I'll talk about that in the challenges. Um, and we think that this could be a really interesting debate that could set a precedent for areas beyond higher education and the use of learning analytics in things like secondary education um, and further education and just all of those other areas um, and that we can be the first leaders to, to um, find the best practice so that it can be brought into other areas and that we're the leaders in the area. Um, so the challenges, trust is something I think we are all familiar at it being difficult to quantify and qualify and what is it. Um, so dialogue is a really important thing with all of the players to ensure that trust is, is uh, seen to be um, held between all parties. Um, differing expectations, uh, there are so many different players and we do need to be aware of the different expectations. If we are providing supports for students, we need to understand that students from China have a very different understanding of privacy um, to students who grew up in Mullingar. Um, and we need to ensure that the diversity within the student population is taken into account with whatever measures um, and discussions uh, we get going. Um, the culture, um, technophobes um, and student safety all need to be um, included in everything that we develop. Uh, and going forward, um, the National Forum has always championed um, a student-centred ethos and that's something that I hope this programme will, or this project of the Forum will continue to do, um, that we take the opportunity to engage students in discussion about ethics and the gathering of learning analytics to understand their perspective uh, in their world, which is very data-rich, um, and to engage students in the design of projects and um, initiatives from the beginning um, so that we can access uh, their perspective but also their incredible ideas. Thank you very much. Okay.